Please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Song. 
Please welcome to the stage, Aaron Bennett. Hi, everyone, find your seats. Come sit down. This is the housekeeping announcement. So let's keep our house clean. Let's have a seat. Everyone get comfy. Welcome to the 2024 Ambies. And before we start the live show, we have some very important information to share with you. For all attendees, please take this moment to turn off your cell phones. This is a good time to do it. Remember to have fun and clap. Let's practice right now. Let's have fun and clap right here. Yeah! Nominees, if you win, you will have 30 seconds to walk up to the stage. I know that sounds intimidating, but trust me, it's quite easy. And you're going to walk up stage right. Everybody, I, I, I want to make sure you understood. Point, point to where you're going to enter that, that very good. Yes, that's where you're going to enter the stage. If you win, you will then exit stage left after you accept the award. You'll be exiting here. Everybody point right here. And you will be escorted by a member of our staff to the press room. If you win and you are nominated for multiple categories, this is the tricky part. First of all, congratulations. Second of all, do not go to the media room until after your last category is called. This is getting tricky. Each nominee is allowed up to the stage with the group. However, only one person from your group can give the acceptance speech in order to help the show run on time. When your, nominee, when your name is called, uh, you're going to be uh, coming up to the stage this way, and you will be exiting this way. Lastly, and this isn't on my little paper, Congratulations to each and every one of you. You are all winners. And I'm not just saying that because I have a five-year-old at home. You are. So take a moment to look to your left, look to your right, and see all the fantastic people that make this possible and part of this industry. Congratulations to each and every one of you.
has a podcast his rhythm is a dream talking music and acting all on quest love supreme my girlfriend loves her podcast i get advice for free sit down and listen to her she's more wiser than me The Kelsey Brothers have a podcast. Sports and comedy blend. Remember Conan O'Brien? Man, that guy, he still needs a friend. is the most rom-coms hot waiting for the next show to drop slow burn bad dates zero on a wait wait what's that latest show about i feel a little tuckered out the Ambies. Let the show begin! Welcome to the fourth annual Ambies, the awards for excellence in audio. Here is your host, Trixie Mattel.
Let's go, people, let's go, woo! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fourth annual Ambies. And no, it's nothing like the Bambies, although I am kind of serving mother. And if anyone wants to shoot me after the show, we can talk. You know, there's a harsh stereotype in Los Angeles that everyone has a podcast, and tonight proves that is not true. It is only the poorly dressed. No, 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 you all look so gorgeous. Which is why you excel in a medium where no one can see you. <laughs> Truly the glory hole of entertainment. <laughs> I see the gays are here, great, okay. <laughs> well, true, some of you do video podcasts, right? Woo! Or as I like to call them, talk shows without the celebrities. Ambies, four years. Isn't that crazy? Wild, huh? I mean, podcasting, it's such a huge part of our lives. It feels like it's been there forever. I mean, I personally wish that was true because I know sitting in my condo in men's clothing talking to my bald friend is a lot easier than looking as incredible as I do tonight. <laughs> Pace yourselves, there will be plenty of opportunities to clap for me later. <laughs> but tonight is for celebrating, so we've dropped all the sweatpants and hoodies and put on our very best <laughs> for you. I mean, not everybody has to wear a gown, but I, oh my God, don't clap for my gown, I'm embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed, so embarrassed, oh God, thank you. I just want to say that if you like my gown, it would mean a lot if you would go to Apple Podcasts and comment and rate. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's incredibly exciting to be here tonight and be able to recognize my fellow podcasters. That's right, I have a wildly successful podcast, and it's very funny, the bald and the beautiful, but tonight... <laughs> tonight is about recognizing excellence in podcasting, and I was not nominated. <laughs> Message received, Ambies. I host it with my dear friend and fellow drag queen, Katya, and yes, she unfortunately could not be here tonight. She isn't sick or anything, she just didn't want to get dressed and leave the house. And I guess in that sense, she really is a podcaster. <laughs> I am here, however, and I'm humbled by the honor of being this year's Ambies host. And I know, as a podcaster myself, the trials and tribulations of producing a program to be made available on the internet. The stress, the deadlines, the shame of shoehorning an ad read into an episode. <laughs> and that's why I want to recommend all of you go to betterhelp.com slash Trixie <laughs> and use the code SKINNY to get 10% off your... Oh, we can't do any ads, sorry, never mind. <laughs> I mean, anyone can have a podcast, but not anybody can have an Ambi or even a nomination. I mean, don't forget people, having an Ambi nomination also makes you better than everyone else. Podcasting allows all of us a platform that is free from control to discuss everything and everything. And for those of us here, somebody cared about what we said. Seriously, they listened to us ramble about whatever we want and they said, hey, that person should have an award. <laughs> and they were right. Tonight's winners were determined by members of the Podcast Academy, which I found out tonight is real. Very prestigious, honey, very <laughs> prestigious. <laughs> Woo! Love it. The Hooters girls of entertainment, great. <laughs> it's all podcast winner, podcasters themselves. Winners, these are people self-important enough to think that they are worth listening to, and they have thought that you are worth listening to. Thank you, one person, thank you. <laughs> That's the whole academy, it's her, you're welcome. 
no matter what you were talking about. Also, if you're not a member, what have you been doing? I mean, join now and be able to be this winner next year. There's actually a code for 25% off beside me over here. The discount is beside me, but there is no discount for being behind me this evening. I don't know what's so funny. <laughs> but tonight is for all of our nominees, whether you're a true crime aficionado, you probably already figured out who wins, huh? A pop culture connoisseur, or just someone with a lot of feelings in a sure SM7B microphone. All my condenser microphone people in the house. audio humor. <laughs> Tonight is your night to shine brighter than the top of the iTunes charts. But before we dive into the main event, let's take a moment to thank tonight's sponsors. Go to betterhelp.com slash Trixie. <laughs> I'm kidding. These are real sponsors and they've made it possible to recognize our peers tonight. Yes, big round of applause for our fabulous sponsors. Tonight and in all of our shows, we'd be nowhere without them. Or at least we would be talking for no money. So thank you to our sponsors for making tonight and every night a little bit brighter. Because remember folks, podcasting without ad breaks, it's monologuing. <laughs> and the Oscars were last month, so. It's time for the good stuff. So, what you've all been monumentally overcooked. Okay. You've all been over. Oh, I don't know what that says. Sorry. I have 45 pairs of lashes on. Mom? All right. You've all been distracted by my charm long enough. Okay. Who is ready to commence the snatching of trophies? All right. Put your hands together for the first presenters of the evening. Both also happen to be hilarious hosts of their own podcast as well. I'm seeing a theme. Please welcome the creator and star of the hit comedy, I'm Sorry, and the star of Tulsa King, Andrea Savage, and popular social media star and actor, Misha Brown. Thank you, Trixie. Hello, look at Hello. this gorgeous crowd. Yeah. These are people behind the microphones. You guys <laughs> got to get in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. You know, let's take these positive vibes and turn them grim. We kick off tonight's awards with our true crime nominees. Tonight, we honor the podcasts that keep us on the edge of our seats, double-checking our locks, and giving us a newfound appreciation for nightlights. From unsolved mysteries to chilling conspiracies, these podcasts have us glued to our headphones, eagerly awaiting the next spine-tiggling revelation. So without further ado, let's shine a spotlight on the nominees for Best True Crime Podcast. For the Best True Crime Podcast, here are the nominees. Disappeared, the Bradley Sisters. Heinous, an Asian true crime podcast. Smokescreen, just say you're sorry. The Girl in the Blue Mustang. The Girlfriends. The Vanishing Point. Who Killed JFK? And the winner is The Girlfriends. Oh my God, 
I had to go first. I have 30 seconds. Oh my God. Okay, thank you to everyone on behalf of um, iHeart and Novel and oh my God, so many people. Just thank you, everyone. And ha you know, I don't even know what to say. I didn't practice. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, you know, uh, Vince, thank you. My family, thank you. Anna, Mindy, I hope you're watching and I love you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> was about the cutest, most <laughs> wonderful thing I've ever seen, and I want to take her home. Um, next up, we applaud the unsung heroes who spin tales out of the mundane fabric of everyday life, turning the ordinary into the extraordinary all before they even hit the mic. These podcasters craft stories that leave us hanging on their every word, from jaw-dropping personal confessions to mind-blowing exposés. Their writing keeps us hooked and wanting more. Let's give it up for the nominees in the category of Best Script Writing in Nonfiction. This is so exciting. And the winner is B.A. Parker for Code to Switch. Thank you to the Podcast Academy for um, validating my generational trauma. And um, <laughs> thank you to the Code Switch Massive and NPR for employment. Um, the, the, I'm sorry. This show um, wouldn't have been done without my editor, Courtney Stein, and my, oh, 10 seconds, you're kidding. Um, my producers, Jess Kong and Christina Kala. I want to thank my mom and my late grandmother, who the story um, is about, and um, to the Lost Souls at Somerset Place, who um, are just a big part of who I am. And also, I just want to acknowledge what happened in Baltimore back home for my family. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> Now, we honor the storytellers that gather, organize, and structure the facts. And just the facts. Mm -hmm. So we cannot just understand a story, but immerse ourselves in it. We owe a debt of gratitude to these reporters for keeping us thoroughly engaged while also keeping us informed. Let's not F around. Here are our nominees. <laughs> And the winner is Lauren Chulgin for the 13th step. <laughs> Lauren is not here to accept in person, but we are honored to accept this award on their behalf. Thank you so much. Please welcome the co-creator, director, and star of Ad Lucem, Troyan Belisario. Okay, <laughs> I think that we can all agree that podcasters tend to be a bit opinionated. 
But the nominees in Best Politics and Opinion take things to a whole new level. These folks dive headfirst into tough conversations, doing the hard work for us so that we can shine at our next dinner table debate with newfound wisdom, maybe even a sprinkle of wit. I mean, how many times have you all regurgitated something you heard from one of these nominees just to impress your friends? Really? Just me? <laughs> Room full of liars. Great. All right. The nominees for best politics and opinion are... And the winner is the NPR Politics Podcast. On behalf of NPR Politics Podcast and the NPR organization overall, thank you so much. All right, since the dawn of audio, news has been a staple on our airways, providing a vital link to the world around us. In today's vast sea of options, the nominees for Best News Podcast have emerged as beacons of excellence, delivering riveting stories, thought-provoking analysis, and up-to-the-minute updates directly into our ears. These shows ensure that we stay informed and engaged in the dynamic realm of current events. Here are the nominees for Best News Podcast. Okay, and the winner is Today Explained. <laughs> Wow, okay, uh, this is amazing. Thank you, thank you Podcast Academy, thank you to Vox. Um, uh, our show is a labor of love, thank you so much for listening to it. Um, shout out to our hosts, producers, engineers, fact checkers, editors, you know, we work hard every day to bring you the news, try to have fun when we can, and we're gonna keep doing that, and I hope you all keep doing everything that you are doing. Uh, it means a lot to me and to everyone here, thank you. Okay, I've been up here talking about politics, opinions, and news, and so far that's been all flat out hilarious, right? <laughs> Thanks, I agree. Uh, all right, well then how about for our next category, let's lighten things up a little bit, shall we? Our nominees for best comedy podcast are guaranteed to lighten your mood. Whether you're navigating the latest headlines, surviving a disastrous date, or you know, just trying to make your way through whatever life throws at you. Here they are. And the winner is, how did this get made? Wow, uh, on behalf of Paul, June, and Jason, who couldn't be here because they're on tour for the podcast, uh, I'd just like to say thank you so much to the Podcast Academy, uh, to our whole team back at SiriusXM and Earwolf, especially my fellow producers who are here tonight, Cody Fisher, Justice Narrows, and Molly Reynolds, our amazing audio engineers, Casey Holford and Rich Garcia, Avril Halley, who is the best bad movie picker you could ask for, and <laughs> Lastly, uh, I just want to thank our diehard fans and give them one message. Geostorm! <laughs> <laughs> 
Now I'm here to present the best podcast for kids. And if you know anything about me, it's that you know that I definitely for sure care to hear what kids have to say. <laughs> the nominees are... And the winner is... The Cat in the Hat cast. Wow. Uh, okay, well, to co opt a Dr. Seuss quote, um, you're never too, oil, too old, wacky, or wild to pick up a podcast and listen with a child. Um, huge shout out to the Story Pirates, to the uh, Dr. Seuss Enterprises, and of course to our listeners who give us the best emoji filled uh, reviews. So thank you, everyone. All right, it's time to recognize the podcasts that dive deep, dissecting the issues of society today. Off the top of my head, I can't really think of any. <clears throat> I'm kidding, the world's a total mess. And these smart people sacrifice their emotional stability for our societal gain. So without further ado, let's take a look at the nominees for the best society and culture podcast. For the best society and culture podcast, here are the nominees. Can You Dig It? A Hip Hop Origin Story with Chuck D. Dear Alana. Dynamite Doug, The Looting of a Nation. Exposed, Cover Up at Columbia University. ROS presents Rough Housing. The Story Exchange. Wait for it. And the winner is... <laughs> Wait for it. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. It is because of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They're new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I want to say thank you to my family, uh, my parents, Ronald Sr., my mother, Peggy Lee, my sister, Marilyn Denise, uh, Bridget Quinn. Uh, I want to thank you to my team, uh, John Delore, my editor, Sarah Dealey. She's great. Uh, I got three seconds. I'm just, I'm so excited. Thank you to PRX, Radiotopia, my agent, Caroline Edwards. Shout out to everybody. We doing season two. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Secretary of the Board of Governors for the Podcast Academy, Martha Little. Each year, the Academy of uh, Podcast Academy bestow the Governor's Award on, on a show or an individual who's had an indelible impact on the podcasting landscape. And this year, the honor goes, the honor belongs to none other than Malcolm Gladwell.
Malcolm, with his groundbreaking work, has not only pushed the boundaries of podcasting, but has reshaped the very essence. Through his innovative content, he has captivated audiences, sparked conversations, and left an enduring legacy. With his podcast, Revisionist History, Malcolm's ability to blend storytelling prowess with intellectual curiosity has not only garnered widespread acclaim, but has also inspired a new generation of podcasters to push the envelope and explore the untold stories that shape our collective consciousness. What I would like to do before we do anything else today is to give you a sneak peek at our secret recording studio. Follow me. I have assembled some of the most talented people in Hollywood to fix the ending, and then we're going to redo the play as part of my podcast, Revisionist History. What's Revisioning History? Did you have an agenda when you were conceiving of this show? What I'm trying to do is I'm conducting uh, an experimental investigation into the nature of the privilege of the people in this room. Hey, this is, parenthetically, uh, a really strong season. Why am I running? Because this season of Revisionist History begins with me running. Oh. Oh. So we're really taking you back to a dark place. Pretty dark. I mean, it's literally dark. Sometimes I get ideas the normal way, which is I read something, and right away I see its relevance. But the better ideas are usually things that I've been thinking about for years. All I needed was a love you gave. All I needed for another day. I'm going to try and land as disgraceful as I can and say that I am deeply gratified uh, to all of you for coming and for so generously voting. It is the Podcast Academy's honor to present this year's Governor's Award to Malcolm Gladwell. Hello, everyone. It's Malcolm Gladwell here. I just wanted to say how uh, honored I am to be accepting the Governor's Award this year. Um, I wish I could be there with you in Los Angeles, but I am marooned up here in the Hudson Valley. Um, it is amazing to see how far the podcast medium has, has come since we started Revisionist History back in 2016. Um, I, I started this thinking I was just going to do a one-off, a couple of shows, and that was it. And here I am nine years later, and we've done so many things that um, I'm enormously proud of from our series on the firebombing of Tokyo that turned into a book, The Bomber Mafia, to our big series on gun violence last year, to our big rewrite of The Little Mermaid, which uh, was intended to get Disney to wake up to what was wrong with one of its classics, um, to everything from why I hate McDonald's French fries to why student councils should be elected by lottery and a million things in between. It's been an incredible uh, ride, uh, not to mention way too many shows on the Ivy League. But that's the great thing about uh, podcasting. You get to indulge your personal idiosyncrasies, and I've done that. Um, anyway, I want to thank everyone who's been involved with me with this show over the years. Uh, we've had an amazing group of uh, people around um, since the very beginning. I want to thank all the listeners um, uh, who have been so loyal to this show over the years. And I want to thank um, uh, all of you. Please welcome award-winning producer and founder of Lead Podcasting, Amanda Capito. Most people think of podcasts as being a medium for conversation and storytelling, which is of course what we've been celebrating all evening, but podcasts have so many more layers, and that is why we celebrate original score and music supervision. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> 
These nominees aren't just hitting play on any old tune. They create soundscapes and craft original scores that can turn a good podcast into a great one. Here are our nominees. Lindsay Jones for Othello. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you all so much. This is such a wonderful honor. I'm so grateful to all of you and especially to the Podcast Academy for um, voting for me and supporting me. Um, I come from live theater and I'm so grateful to be here in the world of podcast. It's, it's an incredible medium and I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. I want to thank everybody at Next Chapter Podcast, Michael Goodfriend, Jeremiah Tittle, all the all staff. I want to thank my wife, Jamie, for supporting me and my kids for putting me up, putting up with me pounding on the piano every 24 hours a day. Um, thank you all so much. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Tonight's nominees in Best Documentary take us deep into stories we may not have even known to explore. But thanks to these podcasts' masterful fact-finding and narrative vision, these stories invite us to follow along on a journey and ultimately leave a mark on our hearts and minds. The nominees for Best Documentary Podcast are... And the winner is Ghost Story. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Wow, thanks guys. Uh, this is a real honor. Um, I'm a bit <laughs> shocked. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I guess I want to say it's, it's always a team, it's never one person. Um, amazing team at Pineapple, uh, really incredible bunch of people. It's been such an honor to work with them. And um, we've been so grateful for the support of Wondery along the way. Um, I, I guess I, we really need to say thank you to my um, in-laws, the Dancies, for putting up with all of this, especially my wife. Kate and um, my wife's great-grandmother, Naomi Dancy, her memory. And most of all, I want to say thank you to Annie Brown, who's a genius. Um, and without Annie, Go Sorry wouldn't have happened. So thank you so much to everyone. Thank you. love a podcast that helps you get a sense of the world around you? When it comes to nav navigating the labyrinth of new information and research that is constantly being released, few do it better than our knowledge, science, and technology nominees. They offer us a front row seat to the ever-changing world of science, gizmos, and digital wizardry. They even keep us informed about the latest innovations, entertain us with fascinating insights, and sometimes inspire us to dream of a future where robots do our laundry. The nominees for Best Knowledge, Science, and Technology podcasts are... And 
and the winner is Darknet Diaries. This team is not here to accept the award in person, but we are honored to accept their award on their behalf. Thank you. I'm coming, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, some people may turn to these podcasts for relationship and wellness advice for their own lives, as well they should. I personally love them for the opportunity to get all up in somebody else's business because who needs to address your own issues when you can listen to somebody else's? <laughs> but if you do want to address your own issues, these podcasters are here for you. From love gurus to self-care champions, they're here to soothe your soul, mend your broken heart, or just let you know that you could be a lot better. <laughs> And the winner is Embodied. Now, Embodied is not here to accept tonight, so we're going to accept on their behalf. Clap, 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 clap for them. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you. They were not embodied tonight. <laughs> Next, we have best personal growth in spirituality. Can't relate. But the nominees are... <laughs> and the winner is... Dear Alana. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was a labor of love. And um, first of all, I want to thank uh, the Calvo and Chen family for allowing us to tell the story of Alana Chen. Um, thank you to Donald Albright and Tracy Kaplan from Tenderfoot TV for believing in this story. Thank you to Lori, uh, my creative partner and producer and composer on the show, um, for taking this risk with making it for me. And thank you for all of you for um, loving it as much as we did. Thank you. Please welcome writer and CEO of Smashed Studios, Uzo Chujoke, and CEO and co-founder of Pod People, Rachel King. Script writers are the backbone of a fiction podcast. They labor behind the scenes, meticulously crafting the story, dialogue, and structure that form the foundation of a podcast, creating vivid and immersive worlds, characters, and situations using only dialogue, sound effects, and music. And that is why I'm so excited to be here tonight presenting an award to these often overlooked members of the podcast team. While they aren't the name or face you first associate with the podcast, it is their work upon which the team stands to bring a story to life for listeners. The nominees for best script writing in fiction are... And the winner is Troyan Belisario for Ad Lucem. Well, hi. 
guys come closer, please. Okay. Um, I really didn't. I really didn't think that we were going to win. Um, sorry. Okay, that's going to start any second. Um, uh, we really want to. It's first of all, it's it's me and these two gentlemen who are up here with me. It's Josh Close and Ian Gottler. Uh, thank you guys so much. I wouldn't be standing here. These are my writing partners. Please come closer. Please, God, don't leave me up here. Um, we want to thank everybody at Q Code for walking us through every draft of this. Thank you guys so much. Um, our amazing team at Salt. Who made all of this happen. Kowalski, you're an absolute beast. Uh, our team at CAA. And um, thank you, like I said, to Chris and Ian um, from the first living room read of this in my house. You believed in this and you were there with us for every page. Um, and I really want to say thank you to every incredible actor and friend who breathed life into this. Um, it's all thanks to you guys and thanks especially to our two partners, Alex and Patrick. You guys carried us through this even when we didn't want to. So thank you for everything. And to Aurora and Elliot, thank you guys. I love you. What? <laughs> All right, let's hear it for those script writers. I know we all love the writers, but what about the actors who bring these scripts to life? Okay, to be fair, in the realm of fiction podcasts, the actors are the true stars. Uh, the script sets the stage, but it's the performers who breathe life into the characters, imbuing them with nuances and depth that transcend the written word. Without their talent and dedication, the magic of storytelling would never truly come alive. So without further ado, let's honor the nominees for best performance in fiction. And the winner is the talent of Yes We Cannabis. Thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I want to assure you that we were not high when making this actual project. Uh, I want to thank God for making cannabis, first of all, and uh, <laughs> my man's just like, yeah, for sure. Uh, I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my lovely co-writer, Roche Jeffrey. Without her, this wouldn't be a possibility. I want to thank the great people at Broadway Video, Toye, Gabby, Eddie Michaels, and also Ian Stearns at Audible for allowing us to bring unique black voices and black talent and black stories to life. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. And the cast, I'm sorry, and the cast, the amazing cast. Thank you so much, we got no time. All right, thank y'all, thank y'all so much. All right, for our next category, we head back behind the scenes to shine a spotlight on those podcasters whose creativity and technical prowess elevate the listening experience to new heights. In the in intricate tapestry of podcasting, production and sound design serve as the foundation upon which immersive worlds are built, emotions are evoked, and stories are elevated to new heights. These talented individuals create captivating soundscapes, seamless transitions, and evocative atmospheres that transport listeners to realms both familiar and fantastical. Our nominees in best production and sound design are... For best production and sound design. Brought to you by Dolby. Here are the nominees. Chameleon, Dr. Dante. Evergreen. Long Shadow, Rise of the American Far Right. People Who Knew Me. The Very Worst Thing That Could Possibly Happen. Through line. 
Undertow, the sisters. And the winner is the team from Throughline. Wow. Uh, thank you so much to everyone here. Thank you to the members of the Academy and to all the voters. Um, sound design has always meant the world to this show from the very beginning. Uh, it's always featured original composition. Uh, Rund, Ramteen, Lawrence, and Julie Kane uh, appreciate all of this very, very much. So thank you. Welcome onto the stage, TPA chairperson and CEO and co-founder of Tenderfoot TV, Donald Albright, along with our 2024 Board of Governors. Thank you. It's truly great to see everyone here tonight to celebrate something we all know and love, podcasting. This is our fourth Ambies and my third year as chairperson of the Podcast Academy. Thank you. I'm extremely grateful to have had the opportunity to not only work with, but to learn from my fellow governors. And on behalf of TPA, I'd like to thank members of the Podcast Academy uh, for participating in and selecting the nominees and winners for tonight's award. TPA members also vo vote for our Board of Governors to determine uh, the future of our organization. So please remember to cast your vote for the upcoming board election. For those of you who are not members, the Podcast Academy does so much more than these awards. To tell you more about that, let's hear from some of our members. value being a part of the Podcast Academy now for three years. Flex. Shout out to everybody involved. It makes me feel special being among this creative community that embraces me in this amazing medium of podcasting. Just makes me feel so special and welcome. The Podcast Academy really offers me a chance to get to know other podcasting pros like from other aspects of the business. I've really found that the Podcast Academy Slack channels to be really helpful. One of the things that, that I value about the Podcast Academy is uh, the resources available, as well as um, the many people that um, we met last year at last year's event and the relationships we began, we get, we began to forge there um, that have really had a great impact on us. Well, one thing that I value is certainly the resources and, and the communication that you share about the business. Those are invaluable to us. I have really valued the opportunity to get to know other podcasters in the space and also just to learn about this industry and other ways that podcasters are experiencing it. One of the main things that drives me to not only be a member, but to stay involved with Podcast Academy is that we are in a state of flux, not only as an industry, but even as a culture. And when you're in those kinds of times, it's hugely important to not only find people who know more than you know, but to find people who know different things that you don't know. I feel at home among this amazing community that where, where we uplift one another, where audio gold keeps pouring out from these amazing porous podcasters. Hi everyone, my name is Jen Sargent, CEO of Wondery. And like all of my colleagues here on the stage, I'm a member of the Podcast Academy's Board of Governors. Wondery is the 2024 community building sponsor of the Academy. We're so proud to support the initiatives of TPA that go beyond the awards to build relationships year round within our community. One of these initiatives is the mentorship program where discussion, knowledge sharing, and peer support are offered to help members achieve their professional growth goals in podcasting. 
Podcasting is an impactful way to tell stories and share information, to help shed light on diverse perspectives, open people's minds to new ideas and new possibilities, and explore all the, all the things that are out there. Which is why mentorship in this medium especially is so critical to shape the future of this industry. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear it from some of the participants. I've been a part of the mentorship program since the beginning, both as a participant, as a mentee, and as a mentor. Uh, one of the things I believe in is, is giving to that next generation. So being able to teach other people the trials, the tribulations, the challenges that I had so that they don't have to make the same mistakes that I made. It can be very intimidating um, to just kind of go out into the world as a freelancer or as, you know, anyone in audio and having the mentorship program. It has offered structure in terms of, you know, setting out every time we meet. It's like, well, what are you doing this week to reach, you know, this goal that you've set? It's a place to ask those questions that I think I never would have gotten answered before because I think, oh, well, this is... I can figure it out myself, or like, this is a dumb thing to ask. I um, have been a part of the mentorship program as a mentee. That was just a really cool time to, again, be really specific in the networking that you're doing through the Podcast Academy to really like get to know another creator's stories and their goals and kind of try to figure out how can we, again, support one another. If there's anyone out there thinking about being a part of the Podcast Academy, do it. It changed my life. It really gave me purpose and direction. So join the Podcast Academy today. Hi, everyone. My name is Christy Mirabal, and I am the Vice Chair of the Podcast Academy Board of Governors. Before we get back to giving out the awards, I wanted to take a moment to call attention to our evening sponsors. All of the Podcast Academy's current and future endeavors are not only... Um, sorry, rely not only on the backing of our members, but also the support of these esteemed organizations. We extend our heartfelt gratitude for your continued and unwavering support and commitment to the Podcast Academy and our industry. And now, please welcome on stage the CEO and founder of the podcast hosting company, Disctopia, Patrick Hill, along with the host of Word to Your Mama podcast, Marisa Estrada Rivera, a.k.a. Ritzy P. Among the myriad of genres and themes explored in the podcasting realm, one category stands out for its dedication to preserving and illuminating the tapestry of our collective past, history podcast. Tonight's nominees have not only captivated audience with their meticulous research and compelling storytelling, but have also transported listeners to bygone eras, shedding light on pivotal moments and forgotten narratives that continue to shape our world today. Each offers a unique perspective on the rich tapestry of human experience and lets us reflect on the profound impact that history continues to have on our lives. And the nominees are? And the winner is? Unreformed, the story of Alabama Industrial School for Negro Children. This is thrilling. Oh, well, on behalf of the people who really made this podcast, uh, Josie Duffy Rice, Florence Burrow Adams, Gabby Watts, 
Also, Jesse Nyswanger, Ben Soli, I thank the Podcast Academy. Um, also to Matt Arnett, who brought the idea to us at School of Humans, and to all my colleagues, especially uh, also at iHeartMedia, Will Pearson, who thought a show about the Alabama Industrial School for Negro Children could go somewhere, which is really something. And especially now, in this time when there's a concerted effort to erase American history from a lot of public spheres, it's a really important time for the story, we believe, and so grateful to Lonnie Holly, to Jenny Knox, to Johnny Bodley, to Mary Stevens, for having the courage to tell their story because the past is not past for them. It's very present and I'm really grateful to the listeners and to the Podcast Academy for agreeing. Thank you so much. And now it's time to give a big shout out to our DIY podcasters. These are... These are the small but mighty teams that are producing episodes on the shoestring budget or no shoestring budget. <laughs> this is truly passion podcasting. And the nominees for DIY are? And the winner is <laughs> Stitch, please. <laughs> these sunglasses on, it's bright. Um, first, thanks to the Academy, really did not expect this. Um, Lisa couldn't be here today, she is in Virginia, and now I gotta call her. Um, the first thing she told me to say is to thank her producers, one of which is me, the other is <laughs> wild, right? Uh, the other is Mike Bryant and Latrice Sampson Richards. The other thing she told me to say is reparations now, yesterday, and forever. Uh, so, um, uh, thank you all. I hope you all have a great night. In the realm of fiction, the boundaries of reality blur and the impossible can become possible, transporting us, as, transporting us to both familiar and fantastical through the power of audio storytelling. These shows ignite our imaginations and remind us the power of storytelling to inspire, entertain, and enchant. Here are the nominees for a Best Fiction Podcast. For the Best Fiction Podcast, here are the nominees. Midnight Burger. People Who Knew Me. Possession. Previa, a tech heist. Supreme, The Battle for Roe. The Foxes of Hydesville. The very worst thing that could possibly happen. And the winner is... Privia, a tech heist. Thank you so much. Um, first off, thank you to the Sonoro team who actually put this thing together. Uh, Bettina Lopez here basically show ran the whole project. Uh, Russo, Alex Gonzalez, Goose, Sofia, Mane, Alex the Winter. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of folks. Um, thank you also to our partners at Audible for taking a chance on this bilingual heist series with us. I'm very, very happy to be working with you guys. 
Um, to our talent, of course, helmed by Melissa Fumero. Sonoro turned four this year, so we're very grateful to be celebrating uh, with this and to continue to tell uh, Latino stories for the world. So thank you. And now, please welcome TPA Governor and co-founder of Hacker Valley Media, Chris Cochran. And joining him on stage is Emmy Award-winning TV host, producer, and actress Nikki Boyer, who, at our inaugural Ambie celebration, took home Podcast of the Year for her show, Dying for Sex. Everybody, it's so nice. Hi, Chris. I missed you. Me too, yeah. <laughs> so I am so happy to be back on the stage and see all these beautiful faces. So yay, Ambies! Yeah. Yes, I love it. I couldn't agree more. This is one of my favorite nights in all of audio and one of my favorite nights of the year. Mine too. And Trixie Mattel, can we show some love, please? Because we love her. And I have to say, it is such an honor to be asked to present the Ambi for Best Entertainment Podcast. There's so much range in this category. Well, because entertainment podcasts entertain us in so many different ways, no matter what our interests, tastes, or mood. That's right. And tonight's nominees really represent the best of this broad field, offering enjoyment, inspiration, and escapism, which we all need from our daily lives. Here, Here are the nominees. The nominees. <laughs> we almost said it together. <laughs> <laughs> best entertainment podcast. Brought to you by The Hollywood Reporter. Here are the nominees. 50 Years of Hip Hop. Creative Control. Films to be buried with with Brett Goldstein. HBO's The Last of Us Podcast. Movies versus Capitalism. Movie Podcast. Women of Marvel. And the winner is 50 Years of Hip Hop. They're not here this evening, so we will be accepting it on their behalf. Independently is a genuine expression of passion and delusion. I'm sorry, dedication. <laughs> <laughs> I should know. Uh, and it, it really is a, a deep dedication to one's craft. It's a journey fueled by creativity and a thirst for expression. Indie podcast teams embark on this journey with just their talent and determination, often trading sleep for creativity. <laughs> I, I've been there before. <laughs> right? And with passion, creativity, and spirit, um, indie podcast teams continue to, to they defy the odds, really, to inspire the audiences around them, uh, the people in the world with their extraordinary storytelling prowess. Here are the nominees for Best Indie Podcast. For Best Indie Podcast. Brought to you by Tenderfoot TV. Abandon, the All-American Ruins podcast. Welcome to Abandon. Beef with Bridget Todd. Beef, join me as I serve up the juiciest rivalries you've never heard of. Dragoncast, home of House of the Dragon. Welcome to Dragoncast. Expectant. What if they're scared for their whole life? What if they regret my choice? Surfing Corporate. The pets, are they really performance improvement plans or just a legal tool to get rid of people? The Nocturnus. Seven frontline clinicians on stage for the first time telling true stories on the theme of rebirth. Wait for it. I can't remember a time when I wasn't thinking about my weight. And the winner is, wait for it. Congrats. 
<laughs> Hello. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, grateful, I'm grateful to the Academy, to my fellow nominees, giving honor to where honor is due. Um, but I'm really happy about winning this award because anybody who independently produces understands that you spend so much of your time like by yourself, you know what I mean? Like you're writing and you're editing and you're cutting tape and you're doing all that and then you have to wonder like is this good? Is this good? Are people even gonna like it? But I guess I don't have to wonder anymore. <laughs> Thank you. I love this, this is so good. Um, so Chris, I, I do, I'm sorry, I don't know why I needed to include you on that personal dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I am curious, Chris, do you feel, um, are you feeling prepared to present this next award? This is, this is what we've been doing, right? Right, well I mean, yeah, but I mean, do you feel like really qualified to do this? Yeah, I feel qualified, you know. I, I've heard people say that I'm smart, handsome, hardworking, talented. I promise my mom said it. My mom said it one time before, but, but yeah, I think it's just because I can read. Oh, okay, but I, I'm curious, when did you first recognize that moment when you thought, yeah, I will make a good awards presenter? Why, why do I feel like I'm being interviewed? Oh, uh, I see what you're see doing. Okay, okay I get I'm you. really funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, unlike the interview that just happened, um, interviewing is really a true art form, and getting guests to reveal their expertise and share those little hidden gems and those little, like, secrets, and to really ex explore their whole lives with an unknown audience is, it's delicate and it's really inspiring work. These podcasts get to ask the questions we wish we thought of and to get the answers we would have never expected. Here are the nominees. And the winner is... Wiser Than Me with Julia Lewis Dreyfus. Hi, thank you. Um, clearly, I'm not Julia, and she's so sorry that she couldn't be here tonight. Um, but she did want me to make a couple of thank yous. So I first want to thank our partners at Lemonada Media who have been amazing, along with the production team that have helped us every step of the way. Um, from, for music, Henry Hall, who's done this amazing music for us, and the secret sauce to our podcast, Julia's 90-year-old mom, Judy Bowles. I also want to, we also want to thank all the 70, 80, 90 year old women who first of all have been crushing it on the podcast technology, but really have been amazing, wonderful in sharing the pearls of wisdom with us um, all along the way. And um, our season two drops tomorrow, so get wise. <laughs> Please welcome on stage TPA governor and host and producer of Tuckered Out, Ami Tucker. Hello, everyone. We're doing okay? We're almost there. Impact, a very important word, I think, for all of us. The Impact Award is given out by the Podcast Academy Board of Governors when they identify an individual or podcast that has made a significant positive effect on its listeners. In this case, the very worthy recipient of our 2024 award is Ira Madison III. Where are you at? Where are you? I want to talk to you. There you are. Ira's contributions to media and entertainment are lauded for their intelligence, insightfulness, and impact. He inspires and influences audiences with his thought-provoking commentary and unwavering commitment to fostering meaningful conversations in the cultural landscape. 
He champions the voices of marginalized communities, amplifying their stories and advocating for greater representation both on screen and behind the scenes. Through his work, he challenges industry norms and pushes for more inclusive and equitable media representation. <laughs> Ira also brings unique and insightful perspectives to his work, earning him widespread acclaim and admiration throughout the industry. His work is informed, nuanced, and thought-provoking, prompting listeners to engage critically with the world, which we need nowadays. His work has been featured in a variety of major news outlets for over two decades, with a notable mention of his current work as the podcast host of Crooked Media's Keep It. On behalf of the Podcast Academy Board of Governors, it is my extreme honor to present the 2024 Impact Award to Ira Madison III. Hi, I wrote some words, um, but first of all, two decades just means like the 2010s and 2020s, not 20 full years. Uh, and that was kind of a hate crime. Um, uh, I want to thank the Ambies. When I first heard I was getting this, it was like, okay, if you say so. Um, and I also want to thank Crooked Media, but especially John Lovett. Um, for having me on Love It or Leave It, uh, insert joke about him losing if he lost tonight, um, back in 2017, which led to the creation of Keep It. Uh, I also want to thank my incredible co-host and friend, Louis Vertel, Sirius XM, uh, and to my friends, Drew and Ty over there for coming after I texted them two days ago, said, I'm going to be in LA, come and meet me in downtown LA during rush hour traffic. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Please welcome Global Head of Content Acquisition, Strategy, and Partnerships at Audible, Pat Shaw, and co-founder of Campsite Media, Vanessa Grigoriadis. Sports fans can be real diehards. First they watch the game, then they talk to all their friends about the game, then they watch TV shows about sports commentary, and then yes, they listen to their favorite podcast about that game, in season. <laughs> and tonight's nominees for best sports podcast are so good that they not only keep the sports fans interested, but they also engage people like me who do not care at all about sports. <laughs> New Heights with Jason and Travis Kelsey. <laughs> we were told that uh, we were told they would not be here tonight. Uh, now we understand why these particular people are not here tonight. <laughs> but Taylor is right outside. So <laughs> everybody collect your stuff and move to the exits. Um, <laughs> All right, so sometimes this business world can feel impenetrable. And that includes the industry that we're in. And podcasts about business, whether it's a new IPO or the oil and gas market, help break complex topics down into manageable pieces. The nominees in Best Business Podcast make sure that whether you're interested in the breakdown of a deal or, <laughs> or the building of the community, you'll have all the information you need presented in a way that you can understand. The nominees are...
and the winner is Spellcaster, The Fall of Sam Bankman Freed. Okay, I'm going away. Thank you so much to Wondery and Bloomberg for allowing us to put together this podcast about the collapse of FTX. Sam gets sentenced on Thursday. We race to tell this story and hope that we played some small part in seeing justice get served. For my team at Bloomberg, I'd like to thank Max Chafkin, Annie Massa, Mark Millian, and Jeff Grocott. From Wondery, it was great to work with Chris Siegel, Rachel B. Doyle, George Lavender, and Marshall Louis. Thank you so much again. This next category is new this year, the first of its kind at the Ambies. Best Indie Host celebrates the individual behind the microphone. The person who shapes the overall tone, atmosphere, and direction of the show, creates a show that's relatable, engaging, and is fostering a sense of community among the audience. Right, and this specifically, this category is for those people doing that, doing that without the security of a corp, giant team or a corporate support. The nominees for Best Indie Host or Hosts are... For Best Indie Podcast Host or Hosts, here are the nominees. Sequoia Holmes. Black People Love Paramore Podcast, helping Black people feel more seen. Get it? Emma Lehman. Gooned is a deep dive into an industry with blood on its hands. Molly Miller. October 28, 2014 wasn't a typical night. Jill Jonathan. Extremists across the country are attacking our freedoms. Dr. Ali Block. This is, and always has been, about so much more than abortion. Ami Tucker. Hello, hello, welcome to Tuckered Out with me, Ami Tucker. Ronald Young Jr. I can't remember a time when I wasn't thinking about my weight. And the winner is Ronald Jung Jr. So wait for it. <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah, I can't even lie. This feels good. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to be able to, you know, do what I love um, for mostly a living. I think most of y'all know that the industry is pretty tough right now, uh, but we're still hard at work on season two. Wait for it. It's coming out August 15th. So make sure y'all subscribe. Tell everyone to listen. We're going to keep going. Thank you so much. I hope everybody's having a great time tonight. Please clap. Thank you. Yes. This is a Marriott. multi-function room, honey. <laughs> we are down to our two final awards. Everyone say, aww. aww. I know, all good things have to come to an end. And the first one is near and dear to my heart. The best podcast host or hosts. Now, I have been a host in my time. And not just a podcast, The Pit Stop, Queen of the Universe, I like to watch, this show. And the key is cutthroat judgment. <laughs> or being me. But tonight's nominees, even though they are not me, have made it through the judgment of our voters with flying colors. For the best podcast host or hosts, here are the nominees. Anderson Cooper. The loneliness of grief is, for me, one of the hardest things. 
Rachel Maddow, and Isaac Davy Aronson. Would it be comforting to us to know that this really wasn't the first time? Malcolm Gladwell. You're listening to Revisionist History, my podcast about things overlooked and misunderstood. Rose Reed and Nando Vila. Fears are growing over the fate of missing Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Kerry Godleyman. But in the end, it's all worth it. The heart is always worth it. Martine Powers. I'm Martine Powers, and this is The Empty Grave of Comrade Bishop. David Rind. Where are these people supposed to go if the military comes in? Exactly. And the winner is Martine Powers for The Empty Grave of Comrade Bishop. Hello, everybody. Um, I am obviously not Martine Powers. She uh, <laughs> could not be here tonight. But um, on her behalf, I just want to say this is such an honor. And um, she really poured herself into this project. And you can really uh, hear it in the podcast. So it's a great acknowledgment to get this. So thank you. Folks, we have arrived at the grand finale of the evening. It is time to unveil Podcast of the Year. Graciously sponsored by Outfront Media. Not only will tonight's winner take home a gorgeous statue, but they'll also snag a full day on a billboard in Times Square. A full billboard, people. Do you know how much that costs? I do, I've had four. Now let's take a look at our nominees for Podcast of the Year. And now, for Podcast of the Year, here are the nominees. Brought to you by Outfront. Fifty years of hip hop. Fifty years of hip hop. From listener power, KEXP. Can you dig it? A hip-hop origin story with Chuck D. December 8th, 1971 was a defining moment in American history. Embedded, taking cover. If your goal is truth, I'm, I'm down for the truth to, to come out. Exposed, cover-up at Columbia University. Even if he only abused 10% of them, what are the sheer numbers of victims here? Ghost story. Is your great-grandmother the faceless woman haunting my teenage bedroom? Next year in Moscow. This conflict will need to end where it began, inside Russia. Quest Love Supreme. Suprema! Post reports, the empty grave of Comrade Bishop. I know what I did, I know what I saw, I know. Marsh Bishop's body was recovered. Slow burn, becoming Justice Thomas. How did Clarence Thomas transform from a college radical to a conservative icon? The very worst thing that could possibly happen. The very worst thing that could possibly happen. All right, and the winner is... Slow burn, becoming Justice Thomas. Um, <laughs> this is truly bizarre. I lost in the, <laughs> the documentary uh, category. I didn't think there was a chance that we could do this again. So, um, so but thank you um, to the Academy. I did prepare a speech because uh, I thought maybe I had a chance in the other category, not this one. So <laughs> I won't need my whole 60 uh, seconds. Um, but first of all, thanks to the Academy. Um, 
This has been just a fantastic show. Thanks to the many fans and supporters of the podcast, um, especially the people that subscribe to Slate Plus. We can't do work without money and people that care about the work that we do. So um, it's, you know, it's really helpful to, <laughs> to be able to go places like show up in Savannah, Georgia, at Justice Thomas's mother's house. You know what I'm saying? We do that with the money we make through Slate Plus. Um, and uh, I, I stand here today, you know, representing a lot of people um, and a lot of great work, but here are some of them that are not here tonight. But um, Derek John, Josh Levine, my boy, my dog, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Sophie Summergrad, Sam Kim, Sophie Codner, Joel Meyer, uh, Susan Matthews, uh, Merritt Jacob, um, Alexis Quadrado, who did our great theme song, Ivy Lee Simonis, who did uh, the artwork for our pod. Um, my dude, Ben Payne, who was right next to me in the house in Savannah talking to, you know, Leo, Miss Leola Williams, uh, Justice Thomas's mom, and um, the great Katie Rayford, who works so hard for all of us all the time. It's like, she's amazing. And uh, for me personally, uh, my mom and my dad, um, my, my, my in-laws, Mama Kitty, and uh, Papa Mike, they've been so good to me, and um, also my foundation, uh, my wife, uh, Janae, who some of you all may know as Dear Prudence, she's the, uh, the vice columnist. And uh, my little son, man, he's gonna be two next month, Desmond. De it's, it's crazy, Desmond, you made the pod... It, it's crazy, Desmond made the podcast, so you know what I'm saying, we'll always have that. So uh, anyway, thank you all so much, this is amazing. It's so <laughs> We did it, everybody. Congratulations to tonight's winners. And let's give it up for all the winners, the nominees, the hair and makeup people, everybody who helps package up our talking and make it accessible to the world. We look forward to continuing the celebration and the official after party. Thank you to Radio, Gumball, HeadGum, Good Tape for keeping the party going. And thank you to everybody. Let's have a great night. Goodbye.